What's going on, everyone? I'm just a typical, average American here today to react and learn about 10 interesting facts and unusual things about the Norwegians. About the Norwegians? Why is it, why is it phrased like that? Should have said about Norway. Anyway, unusual things and interesting facts about Norway. You know, I'm still every day learning more about Norway, and I feel like this would be a good video here to immerse me more into what the Norwegian culture is like, just by sometimes you just gotta learn random things about a place to kind of get that nugget of information that you never knew or never realized. And over time, I think the more facts and things I soak in about Norway, well, not only will it be very interesting, but it'll keep giving me more of a picture of what Norway, the Norwegian culture is all about. Uh, I mean, from what I've seen so far, it's just the most beautiful place on earth. Everyone who lives there loves it, but I still don't, I still don't have a firm grasp on like the culture, you know? And without living there, how can you really? But the next best thing is to watch a video about it on the internet, like this, <laughs> right? That's the, well, it's the only thing I can do, so let's do it. Most Winter Olympic medals, really? I mean, Norway did invent skiing, right? Uh, so it kind of makes sense if they were pioneering all these winter sports. But I still didn't know they had the most Winter Olympic medals in the world, ever. That's kind of impressive, you know? <laughs> Norway has won more Winter Olympic medals than any other country on Earth. What? And the Norwegians claim to have invented modern skiing as a sport. Right. Cambered ski were the first developed in southern Norway around 1850, while the rat trap ski binding, also known as Rotterfeller, was invented by Brawl Wyth in 1927. Is winter sport just kind of a part of Norwegian culture? Like a lot of people in Norway, I still don't quite understand how much snow is in Norway. <laughs> like, can someone explain to me how, how much snow there is, if it's seasonal, if there's always snow somewhere, if you're skiing all the time? Is winter sport just very much part of the Norwegian culture? A lot of people partake in it. You get a lot of professionals doing these winter sports. It'd be really the only way to explain this crazy success in Olympic winter sport, right? Okay. Someone having fun? <laughs> Norway's Project Japan. No idea what that means. Never heard In of it. In the 1970s, Japan did not import a single piece of fish, and it did not use salmon for sushi. Okay. All that started to change in the 1980s, after a Norwegian seafood delegation visited the Asian country with its Project Japan. Huh. The project ended up having a profound effect on the culinary habits of the Japanese. Wait, so some Norwegian under this Project Japan, visited Japan with the idea that they would start encouraging the trade of Norwegian fish to Japan, and it worked. It was a it was a genius move, and it affected the culinary habits of Japan from that day forward. That's kind of fascinating. I've never heard of this. Getting the Japanese to put salmon on a lump of rice is perhaps one of Norway's greatest export successes. Yeah! Today, Norwegian salmon is fish of choice for sushi internationally. What? How smart was this? How did they know this would be so smart? They invented, <laughs> they, they pioneered or kind of sneakily paved the way for an entire culinary area. Like putting on the salmon, selling the salmon for the sushi. Everyone loves it now. What? Okay. It's pretty cool. Not something I would have ever thought about. Dedication to Viking history. 
like Norwegians are dedicated to Nor Viking history? Because Vikings were a part of Norway? I'm still not super clear on Viking history, by the way. In Norway, one may find a great variety of historic museums and realistic festivals dedicated to Vikings. The surroundings and reconstructed buildings around the Viking museums okay. provide an inspiring setting, allowing you to experience history through a genuine atmosphere, food, music, and handicraft. Cool. You know, Americans freaking love Vikings. Oh my gosh. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know what it is. Like, Americans love TV shows, movies with Vikings in them. Vikings are badass. They're awesome. And apparently a big part of Norwegian history. I mean, what defines a Viking? You know, Viking, the not the football team, not the, the Minnesota Vikings. <laughs> uh, Vikings, Scandinavia, okay. I mean, what is a Viking? Viking, Google, please help me. What is a Viking? <laughs> what is it? Um, seafaring people from Scandinavia. And I know, I mean, I know the look of a Viking, at least in American media and culture, with the horned helmets, um, big beards is a thing, swords, badasses, on boats. I don't know much more than that, to be honest. It's very surface level, but uh, I think a lot of Americans would love this in Norway, checking this out. Yeah, like the recreated villages. That's cool. So Viking is a big part of Norway history. I have to look into this more, I think, to get a better idea. Norwegian natural wonders. Don't get me started here. There are... Norway is the most beautiful place I've ever seen, ever. Norway is home to various natural wonders. Yeah. Born in Dalsvatnet, in central Norway, is Europe's deepest lake, reaching a maximum depth of 514 meters. Oh, that's cool. I didn't know about this lake. I'm usually, usually just a sucker for all of the mountains and terrain and the beautiful winding hills and the roads built on it. Just The Jostadalsbreen is the largest glacier in Northern Europe. At 860 meters, Vinufossen is Europe's highest waterfall oh. and the world's sixth tallest. Yeah, okay. So it really does have natural wonders. Things like lakes and waterfalls in addition to the mountains and there's glaciers. Oh, how much beauty and natural wonder can one place on Earth take? Selfish of you. <laughs> Selfish of Norway to just take all this beauty for itself. Come on. I'm just jealous. <laughs> Look at this. Like, come on. Like, what? It's not real. Tree on the... Tra Trafalgar Square? What does that mean? The Trafalgar Square Christmas tree has been an annual gift to the people of Britain by the city of Oslo each year since 1947 oh. as a token of gratitude for British support of Norway during the Second World War. Oh! I didn't know that was a thing. Uh, this gifted Christmas tree? Um, Norway supporting Britain in World War II? Interesting. It's a cool tree. Norwegian butter crisis. Oh, you gotta have that butter. <laughs> I mean, I've never heard of a butter crisis. But hey, do Norwegians love butter? Why was this a crisis? I mean, you use it to make so many things. Is that what it is? The Norwegian butter crisis began with an acute shortage of butter and inflation of its price across markets. Okay. For Norwegians, Butter forms a staple part of the Christmas diet oh. and is particularly popular as part of a low-carbohydrate, fat-rich diet. The shortage caused hmm. soaring prices and store stocks of butter ran out within minutes of deliveries. Hmm. As butter was like gold during this part of history, I bet. A single 250 gram pack of imported butter cost $50 by mid-December uh, 2011. Yeah. You know, butter, Norwegians really love their bread as well, right? And and you kind of want butter for that, and I get it, I get it. Don, 
You can have a butter crisis, <laughs> I guess. Hmm. I've never heard of it, though. Names names for IKEA products. What? Did Norway... Does Norway have name a lot of IKEA furniture? IKEA products are named according to a specific system. Sofas, coffee tables, bookshelves, media storage, and doorknobs are named after places in Sweden. What? Beds, wardrobes, and hall furniture after places in Norway. Carpets after places in Denmark. What? And dining tables and chairs after places in Finland. You know, I don't shop at Ikea much. I don't really own much Ikea furniture or anything, but that's really cool. How that's kind of like an Easter egg, a secret. Maybe not so much a secret. If you're from Norway or Denmark or Sweden, you'd just recognize the name. But I would never have known. That's where the names come from. That is a weird fact. I guess if you're gonna name them after anything, that's a fun way to do it. Unofficial national food. What's the unofficial national food of Norway? The Grandiosa is the most popular brand of frozen pizza in Norway. And even the unofficial national food dish. Ah, pizza. Americans could relate to this. Uh, pizza. <laughs> Americans love pizza. This looks like a fancy pizza, though. This is, like, too fancy for an American who just wants to chow down on it disgustingly. <laughs> I would take no time to appreciate this. The Grandiosa. Okay. 24 million units of Grandiosa are produced each year for only 4.67 million citizens of Norway. I was about to say, uh, Norway only has about 5 million people in it, and you're getting 25 million pizzas a year. Uh, but I eat a lot more than 5 pizzas a year. God, I eat 5 pizzas a month for- <laughs> I'm like, oh boy. Not a good sign. Hmm. Oh, so they have my oven pizzas as well. The most expensive city. Is it Oslo? Norway I only know. has one of the lowest income inequality in the world, but okay. Oslo is still one of the most expensive cities in the world. Okay. And it was ranked the most expensive European city in 2012. Wow, just, just flat out the most expensive in the world. I know, I mean, Norway is super wealthy. Uh, I've learned this much. The average wealth is pretty high. Um, low income inequality, as it's been stated here. So it makes sense if you're going to have the most expensive city anywhere. It would make sense to be in Norway, actually. It's not necessarily a bad thing. It's more just speaking to Norway's success. Norway's expensive gas. Like for cars? As of 2012, the world's most expensive gas can be found in Norway, where drivers pay $10.12 for a gallon of premium gas. Wow. While the country has significant oil reserves of its own. Yeah. Instead of using the money to subsidize vehicle fuel, it goes to fund social spending. Wow. Yeah, I thought Norway was all about that oil. I mean, it sells it and makes a ton of money, but yet the average gas price is 10 bucks. America has been losing its mind over $5 gas. Seriously, losing its mind. Very upset with that. Wow, $10. I couldn't imagine. But, you know, there's more wealth in Norway, so it's not so bad. Oh, is that it? Is that it? Oh, the sources? Yeah, I think that's it. Okay. Data cube. Awesome facts and interesting lists. I like that. That was an interesting list and awesome facts. Wow. Okay. That was, that was very interesting. That did have like the perfect amount of random. The facts, the facts were very random, but I like that, you know? Uh, that's like the best way to learn just a really broad assortment of stuff about Norway. Just get a list of random facts. And, and that kind of makes it more fun. You have no idea what to expect. Like some of these, uh, the Olymp the most Winter Olympic medals, the the sushi thing, the Project Japan, like that was the most random of all. But it's actually super cool. Part of like that's just something you'd never think of in a million years. Bringing the Norwegian uh, fish trade to Japan is also really smart. 
Viking I have to learn more about, I think. I already knew about the natural wonders of Norway. Don't get me started. It's the most wonder, wonder-filled place ever. Butter crisis, kind of funny, but probably not that funny when you were in Norway during the butter crisis. Probably actually pretty serious. And expensive, expensive gas, that makes sense. Okay, yeah, that was a great list. I really enjoyed that. That definitely, it's bringing me more and more into the mind of a Norwegian. My goal is to become an honorary Norwegian someday. You know, once I've consumed enough internet videos or something, right? <laughs> it'll just happen over time. I don't know, maybe. Anyway, if you enjoyed this video, if you enjoyed this reaction, feel free to give it a like or leave a comment. And uh, if you're interested in more videos like this, me reacting to uh, Norway, Norwegian culture, things I never knew, feel free to subscribe for more. And until then, thanks for watching and see you next time.